Oklahoma elects Republican Ryan Walters as our next state superintendent after a heated race with the Democrat challenger, Gina Nelson. Walters joins us live in studio this morning. Welcome him to the table. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hey, thanks for having me this morning. Excited to be here. Yeah, you sound excited. Your reaction to the results last night. Oh, you know, I, I'm so excited, you know, to see Oklahomans come out to vote and, and, and reject Joe Biden's view for the country, for our state and say they want to put parents back in charge of their kids' education. They want more parental empowerment. They want more transparency. And they reject this left-wing ideology that's been pushed in our schools. I think, it's, I think it's a great day for Oklahoma education. What about retaining teachers? It always seems like that is a big issue about trying to get qualified, good teachers to stay in Oklahoma. What's your plan for that? How do you do that? Absolutely. One of the things that I've been talking about across the state is we have this administrative bloat. We've continued to put too much money in bureaucracy and not enough money in the classroom. We have to get more money to teacher pay from our existing budgets, and we've got to pay our best and brightest teachers significantly more. We've got to give them a reason to stay. We've got to utilize them in the classroom. So we've got to do those things, and the thing we also have to do is we've got to get the ideology out of the classroom. Teachers want to teach. They don't want to have ideology pushed on them, and they want to know that when they go to school that there's discipline in the school and they're supported, and we're going to work to get that back in our schools. What's the top of your list as far as what you tackle first? Well, the first thing that I tackle is I'm going to audit every program, every dollar in the department, because I want to ensure that every taxpayer dollar is being utilized first for the best needs of our kids, Secondly, that it's all transparent to the taxpayers. We have a record education budget, but we haven't seen the transparency in the department from our schools so that folks can see how their dollars are being spent. And lastly, it's to ensure that we don't have Joe Biden's radical agenda in any of our programs and any of the um, you know, money that's being spent there isn't supporting this radical agenda that Oklahomans have said, look, I, I want my kids to have the basics in education, reading, writing, arithmetic, American history, not this left-wing ideology. We're still on the low end of the rankings, though, when it comes yeah. to education in Oklahoma. I mean, that seems like for parents what's frustrating. COVID set so many kids back That's on right. the learning spectrum. You know, how do you really tackle such a big thing like that? Absolutely. So what we've seen is our kids were already struggling. They already were not doing as well as they, as they are in other states. And then COVID, with some of the schools shutting down, some of our larger districts staying shut down for nearly a calendar year, while the governor and I were saying, you've got to stay open. What we've seen is students falling further behind. This is why it's so essential to have transparency in our schools, to see what's going on, and make sure money's being utilized properly. And then the other thing is to ensure that it's getting to the classroom and that parents are more involved. We want parental engagement. We want parents at school board meetings. We want parents to see all the lessons being taught because not only does that ensure that we don't have ideology in what's being taught, it also keeps parents engaged. It gets mm -hmm. parents asking questions. They're sitting at the dinner table with their kids talking about the math problems from that day. They're talking about the history lesson. That's a key to student success. Whatever we can do to empower parents is going to exponentially help our students. You're uh, a parent of four young ones. Um, what was this race, this election like? Was it stressful? How would you describe it? Uh, you know, I, I, saw, I was energized. As I went around the state, as I saw parents and grandparents around the state, you know, I think Oklahoma, we're the best state in the country. I love Oklahoma. I got to meet so many wonderful people on the campaign trail, and they say the same thing. How are we in the bottom in education? This is, we have great communities. They want to support our teachers. They want to support our schools. And yet we're at the bottom of the rankings. Oklahomans, we don't like being at the bottom of any rankings. And so I've heard that time and time again is, what can we do? We want to support our teachers. We want to see our kids achieving great things. We want to see our kids entering the workforce with the skills necessary. So it has been energizing to me. I'm ready to go work and fight for parents and grandparents to get education back on track for their kids. All right, Ryan Walters, congratulations again. We're going to look forward to the audit and the transparency definitely coming from you. So we'll be following that. Thanks Thank for you coming very much. in early. We appreciate, with us. We appreciate it. it. Thank you guys.